What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the economy and the Elder Scrolls Online because there's been a big uh, kind of post on the forums has been talking about how a lot of people feel like that the guild traders nowadays just do not sell as well as they used to. And there's been tons of players from all different platforms, from PC to console, talking about how what they used to sell and how they used to sell stuff daily, and they just don't feel like it sells as well now. And it's, the economy is just kind of down. I'm not sure if it's really just the economy and the game is down to where people aren't buying as much anymore. I kind of feel like it's a lot of the players that play the game now already kind of have what they want. There's not, even though there's a lot of new players, they might not have the goal to purchase it. Also, when it comes to items like that, I remember selling when I first started playing the game, they cost a lot. Even when you look at like gold mats, those mats do not cost anywhere near what they used to cost. Um, you also look at some other items that used to be really expensive uh, in the game in previous years. They kind of went down in price and plus motifs that used to be kind of high dollar now are not as expensive as they were. Now, there's still some expensive motifs, but years ago, a lot of the motifs were really expensive. And I think all the events we've had over the last several, several years, or some people even say there's event fatigue, because there's almost like there's an event every month or so in ESO, which I think is a good thing. But at the same time, I can understand what people are meaning by that, because it kind of just, you know, puts all of these different motifs out there to where there's so many of them available that there's never really, uh, you know, a, a time to where they will actually go up in price. They're always getting cheaper because there's just tons and tons of them out there because everyone's getting them so often. And I think a lot of it, like I said, is, you know, the player base that's, you know, longtime players have everything kind of like myself, unless it's something new, like furnishing stuff. Most of it I already have that I want anyway. Uh, when it comes to brand new players, Sometimes you got to, you know, save up a lot for a while before you're able to start purchasing things. And there's still a lot of new players out there that really don't understand how the guild traders work. And probably some of them don't even know exactly what they can and can't purchase from the guild traders. And of course, you know, that's something that may be affecting it as well. But overall, I'm not quite sure if this will really improve any. I did notice for me personally on, on PlayStation that some of my sales started going down kind of at the end of last year. So about the end of, of, of last year, I noticed it was just kind of getting, after the Halloween event, it just started kind of getting slow for sales. I used to could post things and pretty much, you know, in several guild traders that I'm in, and the majority of them would be empty or at least half, half empty by the next day. To where now, uh, you know, a lot of people are complaining that they can put, you know, 30 items in one guild trader and not sell even five or six items the entire week. Now, of course, it's going to depend on supply and demand of things what people want i also think another thing that's kind of hurt that is when you're looking at the sticker book where in the past you had to go out and farm something and farm something and farm something and farm something to be able to get it uh where you used to could sell some of these kind of items especially like overland sets like mother sorrow uh, necro all that kind of stuff now people do not have to do that because once they get it it's in their sticker book they have it permanently and if they want it again they're not going to have to go out and farm something they can just create that from their sticker book at a transmute station. So I think that also may have affected it in some ways. I think just in general, all of the changes that have come to ESO over the last several years and all the new updates and things like that have kind of put a damper a little bit on what sells and what doesn't sell. And I also think it is probably somewhat to do with the player base. Right now, there's some people taking a break. A lot of people didn't really enjoy uh, update 35. Now, the next time a really good update comes out, people start getting back into playing, especially those players that have played for a long time. You may see prices starting to vary in, you know, how much stuff costs. And you may also see more people buying things that they may have missed out on over the last several months. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're experiencing any kind of issues within your guild trader to where you're not, you know, making as much money or selling as many items as you used to. Or leave me a comment. And let me know if you're still, you know, kind of just going along like normal and doesn't really seem to affect you at all. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.